coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. As part of the closing celebratory event of the Moshi Community After School Program, the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment hosted an award ceremony to honor students, parents and facilitators who helped make the program a success. The Moshi Program was implemented in 2010 and runs from September to March. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment, Mistress Velda Joseph, expressed gratitude to the facilitators and parents who came forward to complement the government's efforts. The Community After School Program was implemented in 2009 in the communities of Lamaz, Foasho and Monripo. Maneuvering over flooded waterways is now a thing of the past for the residents of the VG Kako community in Viewfort, who received a newly constructed mini bridge walkway donated by the Viewfort North Constituency Council. The mini walkway will provide a secure path for several families who traverse the route on a daily basis. The walkway is the Constituency Council's first project in the VG Kako community. Affordable access to quality health care is among the key areas of focus for the Government of St. Lucia, outlined in a medium-term development plan for 2019-2020. Prime Minister the Hon. Alan Chastney, during the just-delivered budget address, announced that EC $162 million will be invested in the health of St. Lucians at all levels. A major part of the island's health strategy is the full operation of OKEU and the completion of St. Jude's Hospital, as well as the design and implementation of a national health insurance and the strengthening of primary and public health. A national health insurance committee has been set up to present the best model and financing options to Cabinet. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.